I'm going to show you how to use all of the different obelisks in Ender IO. That is the aversion, the inhibitor, the weather, the experience, and the attractor obelisk. So starting off with the aversion obelisk, if we right click on it, you can see there is 12 soul vial slots and we will need to put a capacitor into here. We can show the range, which is absolutely massive. You can see it's in this big square here. And we can also look at the blocks around it with the configure IO um, screen here. And that is actually for all of the obelisks as well. And we can also actually activate them with redstone. So you can see here it says we need soul vials. So it does need power to actually work this one. And basically what this does is the vials that you put in here, it will stop those animals or mobs from actually spawning. So if I put a donkey vial and then I can put a chicken vial Basically, within this area that I showed you, neither donkeys nor chickens will be able to spawn. And this is really good if you want to prevent maybe zombies spawning in your base, skeletons, endermen, all those different things. We can do 12 different mobs in here. And as I hover over it, you can see here chicken and donkey are prevented from spawning. Then we have the inhibitor obelisk here. Uh, in fact, actually, what I want to show you first is... What, how you make these. The aversion one needs a tormented enderman head, which you can make in a slice and splice. And then the inhibitor one requires an ender crystal, which you can make in a soul binder. Basically, you right click an enderman with a soul vial and then get a vibrant crystal, which as you can see here is actually really easy to make. And you shove it into your soul binder. And after about a minute or so, you will get an ender crystal. So that's how you make the inhibitor one. And what this one will do is it will actually stop any Enderman from uh, teleporting away in the, um, in, the, in the range, depending on the um, capacitor that you put in here. We've obviously out of capacitor. As you can see, it doesn't work. So that will stop Enderman from spawning. Uh, sorry, not spawning, teleporting away. We've then got the Weather Obelisk. And this is a really interesting one. To make this one, you need... Um, a weather crystal is the main thing, and that's going to be pulsating crystals, vibrant crystals, and an ender crystal. The pulsating ones are just pulsating iron nuggets and, an, and a diamond. The ender one is what I just showed you. So what we're actually going to do in here is you can put um, a fluid in the catalyst tank and then fireworks. And it basically works like a weather balloon, I think. I think that's what weather balloons do. Um, you put the catalyst in here, click the tick with fireworks in, and it will shoot up into the sky and make that weather happen. So I don't really think it's worth it, this obelisk. If you look here in the recipes we can make with it by pressing this paper button, you can see to make it sunny, we need to put in liquid sunshine with a firework rocket. So liquid sunshine is made in the vat with fire water, glowstone and sunflowers. And fire water is made in the vat with hooch, blaze powder and redstone. And then hooch is made with water and then some sort of like organic material like seeds, etc. Um, and sugar to make the hooch. So it's quite a drawn out process to make it sunny. If you want to make it raining, it's going to be cloud seed, which again is made in the vat with like clay and ice, etc. Or salt and ice and water. And then thunderstorms is going to be concentrated cloud seed, which is cloud seed put in with um, silver or electron blend or clay etc um, and you'll get the concentrated version there so yeah the weather obelisk i feel like for the amount of effort it takes isn't really worth it but there we go then we have the experience obelisk this one just needs an experience rod at the top which is actually really easy to make here and this one can actually store, as you can see here, an infinite or nearly infinite amount of experience. You can retrieve all, player XP levels, get you to level 16,218. I am in um, creative mode, so I do believe that would be the max amount of levels you can store. And then we can actually store them all in the obelisk um, by clicking these buttons. And that basically is how the experience obelisk works. Last but not least is the attractor obelisk. If we look in here, similar to the other one I showed you, you can put in soul vials. In fact, we've got a chicken here. So let's actually show you it with a chicken because we've got a chicken. <laughs> um, soul vial, chicken. If I put that in here with a capacitor, let's put in an, an octadic. Massive range on there, you can see. I need some power. There we go. 
Can you see the chicken here? Is being attracted to the attractor obelisk. So I can put in like I can put in donkeys as well. I think that's a, is that a donkey there? Come on, donkey. It's not actually attracting these over, even though these are in the radius, which I'm pretty pretty annoyed about. Um I've been conned. But as you can see, it is working with this nearby chicken. And it is basically attracting whatever you put in here. So chickens and donkeys will be attracted to the obelisk. So you could basically use this as like a mob farm, maybe. Um, it would be a really good way of gathering up certain mobs that maybe you're spawning. And then want to gather them all up so you can then kill them um, near here, for instance. And that is all of the obelisks that you can make in Endry.io and how to use them. So you've got the aversion, the inhibitor. So just again, the aversion one prevents whatever you put in here from spawning. The inhibitor will stop Enderman from teleporting. The weather one changes the weather depending on what you put in there with fireworks. The experience one can store experience. And the attractor obelisk will actually um, attract whatever soul vialed um, mobs you put in there that will attract them to the obelisk. And that is how you use obelisks in Ender.io. If you're looking for other tutorials in Ender.io, check out the playlist you now see on screen because I have done the entire mod. Uh, if there's anything else you need to know, comment down below or join my Discord. You can join my Patreon as well to get some more one-on-one -on -one help. We've got a VIP channel in Discord to get you extra um, help in there. And do check out the playlists on my channel because my goal on this channel is to actually cover for you every single Minecraft mod in existence. So do subscribe to help out the channel for that.